Welcome back. Today, today we're going to do a two-year review of the Woodmax DC-1260. And um, basically what I can tell you about it is after two years, it's working really good. The only thing that I would suggest is if you do get something jammed in the bottom of it, um, shut it off right away because otherwise you'll start, you'll smoke your belt. So I've learned that a couple times. I haven't had to replace the belt yet. It's been two years. This is my second season with it. But I did jam it up yesterday. And basically what you have to do is take these two bolts, make sure it's all shut off, open this, and then free whatever's in there. Otherwise, this thing's been a champ. It's got a uh, Kohler motor, and it does use belts, so I would suggest having some spare belts. But yeah, anyway, um, yeah, let's take it up on the trail and do a little chipping up there. And um, yeah, but I would give it a thumbs up two years later. Still happy with it. If you are towing it, I would I would definitely suggest getting the extension kit for the wheels. Anyway, um, yeah, let's take it up on the trail and uh, I'll see I'll show you how it works. One of the things I like to do is just tow it behind my Bobcat Toolcat and chip the stuff wherever it is. In other words, I just I'm not trying to move the chips around. I just chip the chips and let the chips uh, fall where they may. And um, that's kind of how nature is. You just leave the chips out there. One of the one of the things I'm trying to do is reduce the amount of fuel that's on the ground. So these big logs and stuff that uh, are falling down around my property, I'm trying to basically create um, a lot less fuel on the ground. So if there's any dead trees or anything, I'm trying to um, I'm trying to get rid of them and and uh, and the small branches and stuff, I just shred them up. And the big stuff, I put in my firewood pile, and basically, I save that for winter. And I, for for, um, I cut that up into firewood for my fireplace. And I basically just burn the. So far since I've been here up on this land, I I haven't had to buy any firewood for my fireplace. I pretty much just get my firewood from my property, and it's usually. Um, you know, a dead tree that's fallen down, I'll go up and get it and, uh, stack it in my firewood pile and then chip it, chip it during the spring and let it season for a year. And then I'll use it the following year. Now, right here, you, I should be wearing safety glasses and, and also gloves. Here you can see I'm pulling the, the tool cat, uh, or the, I'm pulling the wood max around my property and just chipping it up and shooting it right back up on the land and it actually it's good for the soil actually it, it, to to it keeps the weeds down and also um yeah it breaks down really nice and this wood chipper makes kind of a nice little the chi the wood chips are pretty good now right here I put a piece in there and jammed it up and I noticed, I shut it off right away because I noticed the belt was uh, smoking. Here you can see I got something jammed in it and basically what I need to do is take these two nuts off and open it up and free it up. Now you want to make sure everything's off and consult your local dealer for instructions. But really you just take these two nuts off and you can open this whole bin and then you can free up whatever's inside. Pretty easy actually.
Thanks for watching this episode of Outlaw Woodworking with the, the Wooden Axe DC 1260. I still, after two years, I would give it a thumbs up. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I will see you next time. Later.